She's a Food Network star who graces your screen on Guy's Grocery Games, Chopped, Cutthroat Kitchen, and many more. And today she's teaching us how to slow down with the ultimate summer ratatouille from her new book, Tasting Grace. Please welcome back Melissa De Arabian. So happy you're here. Thank you for having and me. I love, I love the premise of this book. But before we get to that, you know, we're here. Ratatouille is the great way to kind of use your end of summer produce and really make a hearty dish, which we're going to do in a minute. And I noticed over here that you just have the tomatoes sauteing alone in the Dutch oven. But you say that yes. is correct, well, right? Yes, I say that is correct. Um, and the reason is, the secret to a great ratatouille is cooking the vegetables all separately. Oh. I've never heard that. Yeah, well, yes, it's from my mother-in-law, who's from the south of France, and I believe her. She's a great cook. Oh, for sure. She's a great cook. But yes, you cook them separately, and not just separately, but in the correct order. Oh. And the order is <laughs> eggplant, zucchini, peppers, onions, tomatoes. So the tomatoes <laughs> are cooked. Oh, my. Yeah. Oh, my. Okay. Oh okay. My. No, it's not as hard as it sounds. Okay. <laughs> easy pot. If you can remember the acronym easy pot, an oh, easy pot okay. of ratatouille. So eggplant, zucchini, peppers, onions, tomatoes. Oh okay. My. So we got the tomatoes cooking. Great, that's, uh, and it all sounds amazing. And I know Maria and LZ and of course Debbie are very excited. Wonderful. Well, so we're going to get the vegetables back in. So you okay. cook them separately. So you keep the integrity of the vegetable according okay. to my mother-in-law. So we're going to do our eggplant or zucchini. And then once, yeah, so we've had the, now I just added back in the eggplant, the zucchini, there's tomato in there, some onion. And that's great because mm. all the juices from all yes. of the vegetables are all still in there. You're just doing it separately. Well, you want to layer the flavors in the right order. Order, Debbie. Okay. So that's that's the way to do it. I, I will confess that the first time I heard about this, I thought, well, I'll humor you once. <laughs> um, but afterwards, I'm going to like just throw the vegetables all in together and do it all uh, American. But I got to tell you, it was so good that I've never dis. Obeyed so you, my my, my mother-in-law, and that's why you have a great relationship. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah. That's right. The that's exactly right. So yeah. you actually tasted a difference by doing it your own way versus the layering. You know what? I don't want to know the answer to that question. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> So okay. I just do it my mother-in-law's way. I added in a little Sorry. bit of garlic and thyme and uh, basil, a little salt and pepper. And then, yeah, you're going to let it sit and cook for about 15 minutes. Okay. You don't want it to get soppy and soupy, kind of like how we sometimes do in the United States. Okay. And then let me show you how it ends Ooh. up. It it's, um, oh, it's it looks so good. I see, love why, it. why would you mess with this, no, right? Oh, that's oh. wonderful. And then you add a little vinegar. A little bit of vinegar just, just to brighten, brighten it, up. it up. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. And then here, hand me some bowls. Okay, and okay. Now, now while you're... That was red wine vinegar. Okay. Yes. While you're plating, because so I know yeah. everybody oh, at the I'm counter starving. is starving, no, I have no. to ask you, you know, you talk... Uh, well, I should say this meal is the epitome of what you talk about in your book. And you say it's an invitation to patience, which I actually absolutely <laughs> love, because we all need to be a little bit more patient and life these days, but explain that to me. Well, it takes the patience to cook these vegetables separately. Right. Yes, it does. But it also <laughs> takes patience to grow the eggplant, mm. to let the tomato get sweet and wonderful. Mm. It takes patience to sit down mm. at a table and connect with our families. It takes patience and, to savor this and not gobble it all down. <laughs> delicious. Well, and patience is really a gift of food, and I think that we're so busy putting up Instagram photos that sometimes we <laughs> yes. stop we don't stop to think about really the connecting power of yeah, food I and that's what that. tasting grace is about I it's about that. the invitations and not that guilt culture that we're living in when it comes to our wonderful food and that invitation came from someone else very important to you correct you learned about this from your husband's family well that's right and my my mother-in-law as I mean you know my, my poor mother-in-law she lives in France so she uh, she's not here to defend what herself <laughs> Muriel Oh, but, oh, I'm really, she's exactly right? right. This is the most right? beautiful recipe. Why, ever why mess with perfection? Oh my goodness! But living in the south of France, uh, you know, she has cultivated patience and connection and time. I mean, have you ever eaten a meal in France? No, oh, it's seven hours. It's like yeah, <laughs> like three hours later, we're still in the appetizer. You know. But there's a gift in that, and there's something we can learn about that. So Tasting Grace is my opportunity to explore all those amazing invitations from food. And it's also very spiritual, this uh, book. You sort of approach food from the spiritual aspect, which I really love. It's such a beautiful, even if you're not going to cook, this book is beautiful. Well, and it's actually my first non-cookbook. Right. Wow. So um, so it's, it's the book that nobody asked me to write except my that. soul. So, um, yeah, so I, I just felt this need 
to explore this intersection of what food is meant to be and what food has become and um, and the joy that I think we're missing out on. So my hope is that people will read Tasting Grace and love food more richly and more deeply. Mm. Oh. This is rich and deep and amazing. You need to try you. it as well. I yes, love you exactly. more richly and deeply oh, after today. And I love that you use that word grace because I always say it's through mm -hmm. God's grace. It is. And if the grace comes together, we can smell it, we can experience it, mm -hmm. and we can taste it and savor it. You know, that's exactly it, savoring that grace. And if you've ever tried to grow a tomato, <laughs> you know what a miracle it is that it's this tomato one. is so sweet mm -hmm. and red and juicy. And usually oh. when I sit here, I literally dive right. I literally can't wait. But as you were talking, I was savoring it. I was mm. smelling it. And I was taking my time. Aww. And that is grace. And can I say one other thing about ratatouille? Because my grandma, when my mom first passed away, I would go to my grandma's a lot to have dinner. Mm -hmm. And she would always make ratatouille. And so it's a very important and special thing to me. Aww. And the other thing I like about it, though, is that you can eat this cold. You can eat this hot. You can put mm -hmm. it on a piece of bread. You can put mm -hmm. it in a bun. I mean, it's so nice. versatile. That's right. It can be a main dish, a side dish, an appetizer. You can you know, put it on top of baked potatoes. You can do anything with ratatouille. Well, I really, really love this. Thank you for making it. By the Melissa. way, I, I got you like, a new spoon. Oh, you got me. So it's all so clean because you have to at least try okay. the fruits of Wait, your labor. Wait, you did? <laughs> well, thank Taste you. The grace. Thank you Taste again. The grace. Oh, isn't it amazing? Like Muriel would be proud. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm sure she would. Tell me she's coming next time. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much, Melissa, for being here. This was such a Thank lovely you. segment. Yes. Thank you for sharing a meal with me. <laughs> for more information on Melissa, you can find her online at melissaderavian.net. And make sure to visit hallmarkchannel.com to grab this recipe. And remember, slow down and savor, everybody. Mm.